Hi everybody, and welcome to the Neverland Kitchen, where you never grow up and you always play with your food. I'm your host, Chef Michael, and this... Chef Addy. Chef Addy, that's right. She's back in town now, so we're going to do a video together on our second video of the series for sauces. Today we're going to talk about the sauce known as glazes. That's right. Uh, a glaze is a sauce. Um, it's got its own name, but it is definitely a sauce, yeah. and uh, you can use it for meats, you can use it for vegetables, and Anything. all kinds of things. That's right, absolutely. So today, the glaze that we're going to use for our example is a bourbon maple bacon glaze that you can use on uh, pork chops and beef and all kinds of fun stuff, even chicken, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay, so let's get down to the basic ingredients we're going to talk about, and then we're going to go ahead and start making the glaze, all right? So the first thing we're going to be using is maple syrup. Ooh, we have some over here. And we got some back over there. And we're going to use Dijon mustard. We're going to use honey some vanilla extract, and today we're gonna to be using a vanilla extract that we bought down in the Caribbean islands. So it's a super strong and definitely, definitely good flavor of vanilla. Yeah. Woodford Reserve Bourbon. And then while we're heating it all up, we've got some brown sugar. And bacon bits. And bacon bits, absolutely. All right, so let's go ahead and start making this up, all right? All right. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is use our maple syrup, mm -hmm. and we're going to use one cup of maple syrup. And that is all of the maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's all the maple syrup. We're a little short of a cup, but we'll just say it's a full cup for the demo. I thought yeah. we had a little bit more than that in there. It was like up to here. It was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. So one cup of maple syrup. Mm. Now we're going to use a fourth of cup. A fourth cup. A fourth of cup. A fourth of cup. <laughs> a fourth cup of our bourbon. It looks like dark in the bottle, but it's really yellow. Well, it is dark. It's a good dark bourbon. It's really good. Yeah, but it looks yellow when you pour it out. Yeah, it does. It does look yellow when you pour it out, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to use our honey, but I just wanted to put this on the table so you know that you can use just regular basic honey, but us today for our own enjoyment Cherry purposes. Cherry honey. Cherry honey. Yum. All right. So we want to use uh, one tablespoon of cherry honey. I'm not sure how much is left in here but we're going to uh, try to pour this out as fast as possible. Because we, no, we have not a lot of time because uh, me and my mom are going to pottery class. Yeah, you're going to go to a pottery class, aren't uh -huh. you? What are you making in your pottery class today? We're going to make a pumpkin because we're going to make the pot and then we're, it, and then we're going to leave and let it dry. And yeah. then we're coming back. Yeah. And then we're gonna paint it. That's right. That'll be fun, won't it? Mm hmm. All right, so we're using this cherry honey Let's in here. Let's try to try it. Yeah, try to get Oh, you're gonna try it again? Again? <laughs> mm, that is good. Just in case you guys don't know, the reason why I'm saying again is because we already did one take of this, and your daddy was silly and forgot to turn the uh, audio on. Mm -hmm. We didn't record the audio. The and so we time. dumped it out and we had to do it all over. <laughs> we had to do it all over again. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So now that we've got that, mm -hmm. we're going to put in our vanilla extract. Ooh. Mm. Can I dump it in? Of course you can dump it in. And can we're going to do we're going to do one and a half teaspoons. Mm. Okay. okay. Take that careful. Put it in there. Vanilla. Vanilla. Wait, we forgot the mustard. No, we didn't forget the mustard. We just haven't got to it. Good. Let me. There you go. <laughs> and now the Dijon mustard. With half a teaspoon. Yep. We haven't used that much, have we? No, we haven't. And the reason why we're using the Dijon mustard is because it helps emulsify it when it goes into the stove. And we don't want it too mustardy. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Yeah, we don't want to add mustard flavor. We just want to use it as a thickener to kind of yeah. bind it all up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll use the bacon and the brown sugar once we put it on the stove. So now Addy is going to be stirring it up. Stir it up real good. Don't worry about breaking up the mustard. It'll break up when we're on the stove. Oh, okay. Just stir it up. There you go. Stir it up real good. What does that smell like? Good. Smells like bourbon. <laughs> all right, now you ready to put it on the stove? Yep. Yep. All right, let's do it. All right, now we've moved on to putting it on the stove. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pour this in just because it's very sticky and messy, all right? Yeah. There is our glaze. Okay. It's dark in there. It does look dark in there. <laughs> all right, we're going to turn the heat up on this real quick. Get it nice and hot. Okay, so we're getting hot now. Mm -hmm. And if you look in there, you can see how it's starting to form up on the bubbles and everything. You know why it's doing that? Why? The sugar. The sugar content in it is what's making it bubble. Now, see it's starting to bubble real big because I, uh, I turned the heat up on it. So we're going to very quickly put in brown sugar, and that will keep it from boiling. And what it actually does is the brown sugar is going to help turn it into its glaze. Put some bacon over. Not yet. Grab your uh, sauce thing there. Got it. Our spatula. Now I want you to very slowly, very slowly stir this up. Got it. If you go too fast, it's gonna, it's gonna splash out and it will burn you, okay? I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Nothing to be scared about, just go slow. Do a full, do a full stir. Don't just, don't be too scared. Look, watch. Just slowly do this. See how I'm slowly doing the whole thing? We're gonna get the whole thing like this. Here. So what we're doing right now is we're using the brown sugar and the mustard to make it thick. This is what's going to, when you boil it and you're going to get all the extra moisture out, that sugar is going to caramelize and it's going to make the actual glaze part of itself. Good. And the other thing is, is what we're doing is because we're doing a bourbon glaze, mm -hmm. is that we're cooking all the alcohol out of it. So you're not going to get it drunk off of this, like adult drinks. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually cooking all the alcohol out. All right, now we're gonna add in our bacon. Ready? All right, hold it up here and just, just lightly put it in there. Ah, oh, you can grab a whole handful. Keep going. You're acting, you're acting nervous because you don't want to get burnt, right? Yeah. So now the bacon, even though it's already cooked, it will still add some of the uh, bacon flavor from the grease and fat and stuff of the bacon inside of all this. Did you notice that I ate two pieces of the bacon? You ate two pieces of the bacon? Uh -huh. Now our recipe is totally ruined. We don't have enough bacon. Just kidding. Uh, as you can see, it's, it looks very thin, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is, the reason why it's very thin is because it's hot. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the stove off and we're going to set it to the side and you will see it thicken up so that when we go to put it onto our meat, it'll be a nice thick glaze, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna turn that heat off and we're gonna set it to the side and watch it caramelize. Okay, so now let's plate up our food. So to go with this sauce that we made today, we did pork tenderloin medallions. And so we have, for our vegetable, we've got some rainbow carrots that we made. Uh, we steamed them off. There's purple and white and orange carrots. And then we've got our pork tenderloin here. Onions. Oh, that's right, and there are onions in it too, aren't there? And look at these pork tenderloins. They are so tender and yummy. I know. And what I did was, is I put a little bit of the glaze on the pork tenderloin so that it would roast with the pork tenderloin. Now, we're gonna take a little bit of the glaze, 
we're going to put it over the top of the pork tenderloin. Yeah, it's yummy, doesn't it? All right, here we go. It's time for our taste test, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so take a piece of the pork here, and we're going to cut it in half. You take your piece. You like that? Mm, that's delicious, isn't it? <laughs> so, because I got food in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you for joining the Neverland Kitchen. I'm Chef Michael. This is Chef Addy, right? <laughs> and we've made our bourbon maple bacon glaze over the top of our pork tenderloin with rainbow carrots. It's really, really good, isn't it? All right, so once again, thanks for watching the Neverland Kitchen, where what? We never grow old, and we always play with our food. See you guys.